God. With our own ears we have heard. Our fathers have proclaimed the deeds of deliverance which you performed in their day, in our earliest and most ancient of days. You, by the strength of your hand, you dispossessed the nations and planted our ancestors in the land. You shattered the nations and set our forebears free. For not with their own sword did they take possession of the land, and the strength of their own arm did not save them. For it was the strength of your right hand, and the strength of your arm, and the light of your presence. For you were favorable to them. You are the one, my King, my God, who both commands and sends the help of Jacob. With your help, we will push back our enemies. In the strength of your name, we will trample those rising against us. For I will not trust in my bow, and my sword will not save me. For it is you who have saved us from our foes, and those who hate us you have put to shame. In God we offer praise. We have boasted of his greatness each and every day. And your name, my Lord, we will praise forever. But you have rejected and humiliated us and you have not gone out with our armies. You have caused us to be turned back by the enemy, to be repelled. And those who hate us have taken plunder for themselves. You have delivered us up like animals which are to be slaughtered for the meat. And you have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people off for no price at all. Indeed, you did not set their purchase price high at all. You have made us a disgrace to our neighbors and a source of derision and mockery to those in our neighborhood. You have made us a proverbial saying among the nations, a cause for the shaking of the head among the nations. All day, every day, my insult my disgrace is vividly before me, and shame covers my face. In truth, it has overwhelmed me. From the words of those who taunt and those who revile, from the presence of those who are hostile, and those who are vindictive. All this has come upon us, and we have not forgotten you, nor have we broken faith with 
your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back. We have not been disloyal, nor have our steps turned aside from your way. That you should have crushed us in the desert, in the home of the jackals. That you should have clothed us in such impenetrable gloom, in the deep and dark shadow of extreme danger and death. If we had forgotten the name of our God, if we had ceased to care and stretched forth our hands in prayer to a God who is foreign to us, would not God have searched this out and pronounced a judgment? For he is the one who knows the secrets of the heart. But it is for your sake, on account of our worshiping you, that we are killed all day, every day, and are regarded as animals for the slaughtering. Be up and moving. Why will you act as if you sleep? My Lord, wake up. Do not reject us forever. Why will you hide yourself? Why will you forget our misery and our oppression? For our soul has sunk down into the dust and our soulless body is struck to the ground. Get up, be our help, and redeem us on account of your faithful graciousness. <laughs> 